back on the flat um, as you can see it's standing on something a little different than the old kayak I uh, just went and picked this up yesterday um, super stoked about it I was able to uh, get to this flat right here in about six seven minutes rather than uh, half an hour to 45 minutes and uh, that's if I don't have to fight the wind. But uh, yeah, visibility is uh, not that great right now. Just, ooh, here it comes back. Yeah, when the sun comes out from behind the clouds, ooh, that was a sheepy. I uh, have decent visibility, but as soon as it goes behind, I can't see nothing. But uh, I have seen reds. I um, definitely want to catch some today, but the more point of today's mission is just to go out and get used to the new watercraft and uh, check out some spots that have just always kind of been a little bit further than I wanted to paddle to in this area, but I have on good word are quite good. But uh, yeah, see you when I start seeing fish, which shouldn't be soon. There's a blow up right there. Oh, great. Well, I think you guys missed the eat. It was a sweet one. But you'll at least get to see the end of the fight with this guy. He was sitting on top of one of these grass patches with another one. And will say I couldn't have made a better cast. I landed it about a foot away from him and just uh, let it sink a skosh, gave it one strip and it was coming past his nose and he uh, decided he was uh, gonna destroy it at that point in time. But he is really putting up a fight. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna try and get this guy landed. I uh, ended up going over this deep channel because I wanted to reset my. Uh, I got some stuff to do really before I can get there. But I might just let it drift. Alright, well, here we go. First uh, sight cast fish on the solo skiff. Cutie little red, fought super hard. Got him on the sneaky shrimp. All right, let's see if we can get another one. Got it! <laughs> Freaking perfect cast right there. Perfect cast. This one isn't a small one either. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that was sweet. Oh, that was so sweet. Got another run on you, dude, or can I get you in? Okay, I think you're done. Alright, let's show you to the people.
Well, I don't know if you got to saw him, but you got to saw everything up to the point. But uh, so the wind's starting to pick up, and how I'm managing that is I got a 36 inch drogue right there. So that just kind of acts as an underwater parachute and uh, keeps me going at kind of a slower, more consistent speed. Which of course means that I have plenty of time to look around and cast and all that without having to worry about uh, you know missing stuff because I'm running into it, running over the top of it right away. Get in, get in, I got more used to catch. Alrighty. Hey, hey, hey. Oh man. You inhaled it. Oop, and you're spitting up shrimp. Or whatever that is. Sand fleas, maybe? Hey. Alright. Sweet fish. We're back, go get another one. Alright, well I cast that ray right over there. About ready to clean up and I got this nice little speckler. Yeah, I had a... Thought I saw a red pitch to it and then thought it wasn't a red and so I didn't really work my fly. And uh, it turned out it was a red and I missed him. But so far, when the visibility is decent, you know, it's not that bad. Just kind of doing an exploratory check on this area anyways. I haven't actually been here before. Right, blind casting. Got ourselves a speckler trout. Not a bad sized one. <sighs> Oop, and he got himself off. Right, so I'm just gonna leave this recording for a little bit. Just because that's a red right around there, I think. Where did he go? This guy right here, getting him unhooked, sending him back. All right. Well, kind of came out of nowhere. It was really dead there for a second, so I didn't even have my camera on. 
but uh, yeah there were two reds sitting together there and first cast wasn't great but it didn't spook them and so I put it back in there and got them on the second one 